But we begin with Phil Keating. He joins us by phone live from Florida City, just below Miami in Florida. Phil. John, John, I'm at one of the gas stations that actually still does have gasoline, and that means a very long line taking drivers 45 minutes to an hour, sitting going nowhere but inching along until they can finally fill up their vehicles, as well as those big orange plastic gasoline containers to handle fueling their generators back at home if they stay home and if power does, in fact, go out for a week. Back in the last big hurricane season of 2005, power was out for weeks after Hurricane Wilma, and people clearly remember that. Uh, there is certainly a growing sense of anxiety and even some panic here as everybody has been desperate to not only fuel up their cars, but to buy cases of water and food supplies, dog food, cat litter. Next door to us here is a Walmart. They are completely out of the pet food, and a line of 100 people long are waiting to get cases of bottled water. Shelves are empty at grocery stores all over South Florida, Miami-Dade County, as well as Broward County. Broward County earlier today where Fort Lauderdale is, ordering a mandatory evacuation for the coastal islands, as well as everything east of U.S. 1, Federal Highway. Uh, Miami-Dade County has yet to issue any sort of evacuation. It's expected that Miami Beach will, in fact, do that um, at some point. But the mayor is saying today, no mandatory evacuations yet, but the mayor of Miami Beach, uh, he's urging residents, look, you know it's probably going to happen. Why don't you get ahead of the rush right now? Traffic heading northbound on the turnpike is already a sludge of a parking lot. Creepy, crawly rates of speed. It is going to be two more days of this before the hurricane really slams into South Florida and possibly the Florida Keys early in the morning hours of Saturday uh, but one lesson learned from all of the television coverage of Hurricane Harvey in Texas is all of these Floridians who last year during Hurricane Matthew really did wait till the last day to stock up on all the essentials. They're doing this one now three days out. John. All right. That is at least the silver lining in this uh, potentially horrible story. Thanks very much.